This was pulled from That's Egyptian beautiful. queen. Oh. This is awesome. Is it for sale? Hey, what's up everyone? It's the Breaker Bros. Today, we're going to be hitting up the Tampa Bay Card Show. Where is it at exactly? Clearwater, Clearwater, Florida. Check it out, check out the ride. All right, everyone, we are here at the Tampa Card Show in Clearwater, Florida. And before we head inside the show, we wanted to let you know that we're trying to do a hundred dollar challenge. We have a hundred bucks right here, cash. What we'd like to do is try to get a couple of things before we leave the card show with our hundred dollars. So Omar is going to tell you what that is. Yeah. So what we're looking for specifically, we want to get one rookie autograph to start. Then we want to get one hall of famer, and then we're going to go and get one wild card with upside. So somebody who you may not know, but we think that could potentially blow up in the next few years. And we want to get one vintage card. And we're going to have, we only have a hundred bucks to make that happen. Again, we're going to make sure that we're getting star, these, these, these names. We're just not going to go and just skim. We want to get those good, those good players. People that you've heard of. You've never heard of him. Yeah. That's our goal, but then we're going to leave it up to you guys to let us know how we did with our hundred dollars. We're going to head inside right now. Stay with us. So sit back, relax, and let's spend these stacks. So we just got here. We're about to look for those four types of cards that we mentioned before. So let's see if we find it. Make it happen. Up everybody so we're gonna take a walk around just to get a, a better feel for what's at every table so many cards it's a, it's a lot of cards uh, which is a good problem but we're gonna take a look and see if we can find uh, a couple of deals we saw something with vintage already so we'll be back uh, we're gonna look for some more, more modern stuff we'll be back in a sec breaking news San Diego What's going on, guys? What's going on? I officially lost my mind. I, there's so many cards, so... Uh, too many, too many, too many! What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to focus on getting a rookie autograph instead. We were trying to fulfill all the all the, the things we were trying to get. We were just trying to get them all in one shot. It's not possible. And we're going to have to get a rookie autograph. So we're going to update you when we get it. Anybody else's fingers hurt? I think we found the best table here. Check it out. Look at all this organization. Look how the hard, the hard work done for you. Unreal. This, this is, is the way it should be done. Yeah. So everyone else, if you set boots up, this is the best way to keep your customers happy. Now let's go through it. Just looking through and came across this uh, 9.5 on the Paul Pierce rookie card. Top finest, might make a little play on it. Looks like it's had the sticker feel on it still. Nice looking card. Let's see if we make a play on it. Figure, what if we do this Paul Pierce, you know, as a Hall of Famer? Mm -hmm. And then who has the newest card? 
on the upside. I mean, we can see if we can get two, two for one. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Luis Garcia out of gold, number to 50, up as the with the auto, with the auto. Okay. Yeah, he's done. All right, let's see if we can make a deal on the Paul Pierce, maybe that Luis Garcia, number out of 50 of gold. See if we make it happen. Five minutes later. All right, guys, so we're here. We made our first deal. We're satisfying our Hall of Famer, Paul Pierce, a 9-5 rookie. And then we got the Luis Garcia for our rookie card auto, number to 50 gold with, uh, what's your name? Tom, I'm Sam. Awesome. Cool, 50 man. bucks. Here you go. Fifty dollars on both. There you go. Thank you, Tom. Nice Thank you. All right, here's a quick update. We just stepped out, so we picked up two of the cards and saw my brother do the transaction. We got the rookie auto, Luis Garcia, number to fifty gold. Yep. Right. And then we got uh, Paul Pierce Hall of Famer nine five rookie top finest. So we got these two. We got two more to go. We still have fifty dollars left with us we're going to try to hit up the vintage and see if we could also get the wild card yeah. we think has some real big upside yeah. so stay, stay with tuned. us jordan collectible they won that the double rip and then space jam and then somebody won oh, they won okay i'm gonna show you what you could have had what i could have <laughs> right, right here, here. right here. Right, so this would have been yours. It would have been mine, yeah. So it comes with either 10 cards, right? 10 cards, if it's 10 cards, it's going to have an auto with a serial number card. Okay. It's open. All right. Lost. If it's only 9 cards in there, 10 starts to us up here. So we'll start. Here's the uh, dog star. Uh -huh. P. Ryan. Houston. Yeah. It's an autograph. Now we yeah. just need a serial number card, and then I'm the winner of this day. I'm confused. I'm confused. Uh, but I already know for a fact it's not, right? Okay. No auto, uh, auto no, no number, number. double okay. rip, friend. So you got the double rip. You would keep these cards and know the Ryan Looney Tunes, Kyle Pitt, a little clearly in Anthony yeah, Airport. Yeah, so that would have been solid, though. But yeah. they ain't finished. When is this over? Yeah. If these would have been yours, which one of these would you have picked? Oh, man. Which I would have picked. Was the best out of all those? I don't know. I'm a baseball guy. Yeah, smoky, yo. So I don't know. I probably would have went with the, you know me, a heritage. Heritage. <laughs> I can't get it on heritage. I probably would have got that. Watch paint dry. All right, let's see what you would have had. Oh no, you're in. Yeah, oh no, no. no. Oh, oh, oh. 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 You're gonna make me feel bad right now. This is happening. This is happening. <laughs> Or just to see you good and very bad. We're still looking. We're still looking. Where's the hits? Still Where's looking. the hits? Uh, I'm gonna give this to all the kids right here. Uh, you got a high number. That's, 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 that backwards card is a high number. I think that. I think that it's open this year. Right. That'll be for the kids. Oh, okay, okay. Ready for you? that for the kids. You know what I'm Man, it did us wrong. Oh, yeah, man. Right. That's me. That goes to the kids. That was cool, man. Thank you. Alright guys, so we found a nice vintage dealer here and uh, they're eyeing these really cool uh, 1969 Decker cards. We'll see if uh, any of those uh, are going to fit our budget. We'll be back in a second. Alright, what's up guys? We got uh, a couple of quick updates. We picked up a nice little lot of 1969 Deco Edge. We got two cards. We got the, uh, this is the Bob Gibson. And then behind that, we got Mr. Brooks, Brooks Robinson. And we got these two cards here for uh, 25 bucks in the lot. So this satisfies our vintage. We really like these cards. Just the unique look of the Deco Edge. Um, we'll show you these guys a little closer in our recap. And then we, uh, we have how much? $25 left. And we're looking for that rookie autograph. I had a little trouble finding one because that fits what we're looking for, but we're gonna update you with what we get with this. All right, so we have two out of four yeah. down. Omar is looking for our rookie auto as well as I am, but he's getting hungry, <laughs> so we're on the clock. <laughs> I didn't have a good breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. This was pulled from That's a Gypsy beautiful. Queen. What That's was it, a blaster? Oh. This is a beauty. Is it for sale or is it numbered out of 20? Yeah, it's like on the back of the top of the board. Oh, wow. This is awesome. It's 
So this is why we pulled Gypsy Queen. Yeah, we never <laughs> guess that. This is beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Thanks for sharing. Omar's over here eyeing the pilot glass now. Auto. Rookie auto. Yeah, we'll get it. 25. Yeah, let's make it happen. Looking for 40. Offer 25. Cash only, gents. Did I give it this go, bro? Oh, maybe do I got some? Who has the money? What the hell? Uh oh, I got the money. Okay. I so told you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Okay. Hey, what's going on, everyone? We just finished up with the card show. A ton of cards, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of cards to look through. My, my advice would be when you come to these things, make sure you eat because I'm extremely hungry. And it kind of made me rush through stuff, but it was a lot of cards, a lot of good stuff. We're gonna go through everything a little later on of what we picked up with the hundred dollar budget. It was fun. It was really fun. We met some great people, but we'll recap everything for you. Stay tuned. Just a quick update, we were able to get Omar his meal and he is going to have a ginormous bowl from Chipotle, so never fear. Sit back, relax, and eat that. Yeah. What's up everyone? We're back from the show. Had a great time. We're here to recap how we did with our $100 challenge. So we're gonna take you through the cards. Omar ate his food. We're refreshed. <laughs> yeah. We're ready to go. Uh, so what we'll do is we're gonna take you through the cards that we got. We picked up five cards. And if you remember, we had the challenge where we wanted to get one vintage card at the very least, one rookie auto, one wild card with upside, someone who we think has upside, superstar upside, and also a hall of famer. I get it, I get it. So those are the things we were looking for. We had a hundred bucks. So here's how we shook out. Yes, so here we go. So to start it off, the rookie autograph that <laughs> we decided to go with, and there's a little disclaimer here. This is towards the end of, uh, of the show. I was a little bit hungry, so I just a little, wanted- A little bit? Wait, you to that crowd I just wanted to make sure we, we you know, we made a purchase because we, we had to get some food. So the first one we went with was the rookie autograph of Tyler Glass now, um, Gypsy Queen, purple, number to 150 105 of 150 i don't know tyler glass now he's hurt right now God, if you listen help he's um believe we may be coming back at the end of the year but um he's a electric pitcher he has i think he throws about 100 miles an hour he has a uh, sick curveball and uh it helps that i'm a tampa bay rays fan even though he's wearing pirates in this card still a, still a rc rookie card with his autograph looks pretty sharp um so I, I, think think, we did good. I think they were asking uh, they were about, asking about 40, 40 on it and i think we settled somewhere around 25 for yes it. so 25 bucks for this card and a disclaimer for everything we're about to say here we didn't look up anything um at the show <laughs> you're crazy man we just went ahead and tried to make the deal and fit the hundred dollar budget overall so that's something to consider as well yeah i know i know i'm interested to see what everyone says in the comment section but we did not look up comps we kind of went on the fly and just wanted to see, be surprised on how we did at the end. So let us know what you think in the comments as well. Yep. So let's keep it going. So for their vintage pickups, you could talk about this, Sam, because you really wanted these. <laughs> I really, I did it, <laughs> but you you went ahead and um, made sure we got them. So. so we were looking for vintage, obviously. I mean, we gravitated towards, uh, we saw some football, but we gravitated towards baseball a little bit. Had a lot more selection at the show for vintage and baseball. And this particular set is a 1969 Topps Deckled Edge. There was a lot of nice vintage at the show. I, for me, I, I kind of like this Deckled Edge look. It, it stood out versus the other vintage. Um, there's a set of 33 different um, cards in this set. And just to me, it's kind of a neat set. I think it's just kind of look, this looks different. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Yeah. Um, and just has that really cool design. The, we have a Bob Gibson that we picked up here on the left. And then the, on the right, we got a Brooks Robinson. The Bob uh, Bob Gibson looks a little bit better centered. Yeah. Um, the only thing with the Brooks Robinson is pretty off center to the right, as you can see, but just still really cool cards, 1969. I mean, you can't go wrong with something vintage like that. And um, obviously two Hall of Fame players there in their own right. So we were super happy getting those. And I think uh, we were able to get a little bit of a deal on it. They were asking for about $30 for, for both. We um, we were able to get them for about 25 or so. Yep. So that put us at about 50 bucks. Cool. 
I'm just fixing these. All right, let's keep it going. So this one was actually um, bought, purchased from the same seller and this fits the um, Hall of Famer and the rookie, uh, not the rookie, what was it? Sorry, the, upside uh, the, wild up, card. the upside wild card, which technically just turns out to be a rookie card as well. So we could, you want, you found this Paul Pierce actually. Yeah, so he had, so so the seller had a bunch of uh, kind of slab cards, some some autos and, uh, and, and sort of a bargain bin spot. And it caught my eye having that Paul Pierce, a Hall of Fame player now. And this turned out to be a rookie too. So yeah. I know this set in particular, um, Finest has the, in the front, has the, uh, the, the seal uh, coating on it, which, you know, you could decide whether you want to remove it or not. And, and folks get it graded with the seal. And in this, this particular case, I thought it was cool that the, the, that the peel was not removed and it came out of SGC 9.5. So I yeah. thought that was that was an awesome little card um, for the collection. And I think Paul Pierce we were talking about is kind of undervalued. The dude was a, a machine back in the day. He was a scoring machine. So one of the I mean I don't know about one of the best small forwards ever, but he was up up, up there. Now Paul Pierce, to the truth, right? Yeah, the truth. And um, the last but not least, this is our favorite pickup of the of the night, right? Uh, of the day, whatever. Luis Garcia. Um, Wild card upside. Luis Garcia is a second baseman for the Washington Nationals. Very young kid, um, dynamic player. Just doesn't get on base as much as I would like. He has a low OBP, but he hits for average. And um, seller wanted how much for this one? He uh, he was asking fifty for 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 that card. In fifty. Particular. Yeah, he was asking fifty for this, and we wound up paying twenty five. Well, when I mean, you average it out, it was twenty five. That's right. We actually paid. So with the same seller, we got the Paul Pierce. Yes. And then we also got that Luis Garcia both. Yeah. For, for 50, 50 bucks. bucks. Mm -hmm, for 50 bucks. So we wound up paying technically 25 um, for this. And if you can see the, uh, the signature, pretty clean, looks real good. Top's finest, 16 out of 50. And we looked this up on eBay and we actually got a pretty good deal for it, I think. Ooh, you just got schooled, son. Um, I think that... Uh, this guy has a lot of potential. It's a rookie card, and I think uh, if he, you know, if the, I mean, the Washington Nationals are kind of a, a joke right now. I guess you know they're kind of the meme of baseball. <laughs> <laughs> but they got a lot of prospects in that deal for Soto, so you gotta keep that in mind. That again, this, they could be really bad right now, but in the next four or five years, you know, this guy, he he could be dynamic and he could be part of a potential championship team because they got the C.J. Abrams and they got a few other good pieces, Mackenzie Gore. So uh, you never know what that C.J. Abrams and Luis Garcia, you know, up the middle might yeah. look like for the next several years. So not two, not three, not four, not five. So they're clearly rebuilding, but again, our wild card um, upside player, we we wanted to take a little bit of a risk in the sense, like, hey, it could be someone who isn't really highly talked about right now or maybe his stock is down it could potentially be a superstar in the next year or two so you know it took a little gamble but you know we like that card kind of up for our collection anyway yep exactly so there you go there you have it guys so what what do you all think uh, how do you think we did with our hundred dollar challenge to fill all those uh you know those different things that we wanted for 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 the card show so leave us a comment below let us know and we'll be looking forward to making more videos and let us know if you like this too if you like the hundred dollar challenge we could do this a little bit more when we get together in the future if you like it leave that in the comments we'd love to hear the feedback cool take care later Hey, what's going on, everyone? No, no, no. Look for some Hall of Famers. No, that's not. Wait, what? I always mess up. Like, no, leave. Nah, yeah. Chase for those four types of cards that we mentioned in the in the card. So uh, let's get back. I don't even do it again. Turn it, turn it over. Your face is cut off. There you go. Yeah.